Hey everybody, I am Chuck with the Nerdorama Network, and welcome to episode 3 of Chuck's Movie Minute. Now today we are going to be reviewing the Fantastic Four reboot, or fan Four stick however you choose to refer to it. Be forewarned, there are some mild spoilers in this review, so turn away now if you don't want to hear them. So, what can I say about this movie? Uh, I went into it, like everybody else, extremely dissatisfied with the previews that I'd seen, any plot spoilers that I'd read. I thought this was going to be as terrible as everybody was proving it to be. And I gotta tell you, it was, but there were some glimmers of hope. I know that I'm going to get ridiculed for saying that, but I think that Miles Teller was actually a really good Mr. Fantastic. I bought into him as Reed Richards. I liked it a lot. Michael B. Jordan was brought the cockiness to the Human Torch that I like to see, but he had no purpose in the movie. There was no reason for him to be there. There was no reason for him to be part of the team. And Victor Von Doom, oh my god, it was a cinematic abortion what they did to this character. They basically turned him into an emo Hot Topic employee. Just, oh, well, the, the world is sad. Oh, poor me. I never bought into him being villainous. I never bought into him even being a part of the story. And Sue Storm, where do I even go with her? Like I said, spoilers about this, she never even travels to the negative zone, or Planet Zero, or whatever the heck they want to call it in this movie. She's back on Earth the whole time, but yet somehow still gets powers. Oh, and their whole trip to the negative zone is done when they're drunk. Oh, let's get hammered and decide, hey, let's go to another dimension, because that's what everybody does when you get hammered. This movie also, anything like I'd never seen, didn't have a second act. Literally, there was no second act of this movie. I sat there, and it's got a 99-minute runtime. All build up, the final battle was three minutes. That's not a joke, people. That battle actually lasted three minutes. There was maybe five punches thrown. And Doom doesn't even appear until there's 17 minutes left in the movie. I feel like this movie was just all build up to a sequel that never happened. It was like a giant trailer for a movie that was never there. So I gotta tell you, I was overall disappointed in this movie, but there were glimmers of hope. There's small moments there where you're like, oh, I see where they're going with this, but then they never go there. So, you know, all in all, I gotta say, it was, this is a movie you're gonna wanna skip. I know it's a first for us here on the Chuck's Movie Minute, telling you actually not to go see a movie, but this is one just download, rent it when it comes out, you're not missing anything. Like I said, this movie was all hype and no delivery. I walked out of there basically feeling like they had just stolen my money. So, all in all, this week, Chuck's Movie Minute, Fantastic Four, gets our first no-go. Skip this one, guys. Stay at home. Keep watching, like, subscribe, and share on the Nerdorama Network, and stay tuned for next week's episode where we review straight out of Compton. See you at the movie!